Well, our next guest knows firsthand what it's like to audition for American Idol and made it all the way to the top 48, surviving even the dreaded Hollywood week. Our special co-host, Cody Fry, joins me again. Hey, Cody. Hey, Maggie. So tell me, like, I mean, you've been in the music industry for a while. Why try out for American Idol? Well, uh, you know, as a musician, sometimes it feels like a little bit like shouting down an empty hallway, you know, because obviously I make music for myself, but yeah. the bottom line is I want to reach people with it. And so when kind of confronted with the opportunity of American Idol and that platform, it's sort of a no-brainer, like, hey, do you want your music to reach millions of people in the U.S.? Mm. Let's try this. You know, so it was kind of an experiment, and I think it went okay. Yeah, I think it did go well. So what was it like walking into that room and you see J-Lo... Who else is there? Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, all I really focus on is J-Lo and what she's wearing. Yeah, but. that's true. Most people do that. <laughs> what was that like? I mean, it's audition day is just chaos. Yeah. It's like just people running everywhere, cameras everywhere, and all of a sudden you get in that audition room and it's like And are you just air. like jam-packed yeah. with people? It's just like... Like, everybody is just jam-packed into yeah. a room? Yeah, uh, everybody's screaming and singing. Wow. And sh you know, it's just like everybody's trying to rehearse over each other. It's just a madhouse. And so what was that like walking into that room and having to audition? It was honestly audition? amazing. It's like all of a sudden this just beautiful silence and they just kind of look at you like, please sing for us, you know, and you're like, all right, here we go, yeah, you know, it yeah. felt good. So how did it feel when you got the golden ticket? <laughs> it's kind of one of those moments where you want to be excited, but also it's like this is just the beginning of this yeah. journey, you know, and so it's almost like this foreboding, like, okay, you did it and now you have to do it again for the next you know, however long you're on the show. Yeah. And so it's it's sort of like the beginning instead of most people think it's like, oh, the goal is to get a golden ticket. Well, no, the goal is to be American Idol. Mm. So it was it kind of like equal parts excitement and like nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always amazed by Hollywood Week. That's the one the one time that I think a lot of people are, yeah. because that's when I was the amazed. pressure, <laughs> that's when the pressure really gets yeah. heated, right? Like everybody's trying to get to the top. Really, as you said, everybody wants to be American Idol. What was Hollywood Week like? I mean, you're exactly right. It's just, it's insane, you know? I mean, it, it's true. Everything they say, it's like, there's no sleep. It's just so much like, you know, hurry up and get to this location and then wait for 10 hours, but you can't sleep. And then you have to perform like on a dime, you know? And so it is, you have to find a way to make yourself stand out from all these other amazing contestants, um, as well as, you know, having not slept the night before. Yeah. It really is extremely challenging, like boot camp or something yeah. for singers. <laughs> so, so then if it's all challenging, did you ever get to the point where you're like, I don't know if I can do this? Um, I'm a pretty perseverant person. I yeah. like to think that I can take a challenge. And so for me, I, I sort of tried to see Hollywood Week as this kind of big week-long puzzle where it's like, okay, today this is my task. I have to create a 60-second performance that showcases this, and mm. I have these things at my disposal. What can I do to maximize this opportunity? Even running on, you know, an empty tank, it's yeah. like, here, how can I make this the best thing that I can make it? So your past experience of being yes. a musician for so long really paid forward. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I've been put into a lot of high pressure environments before, and this was one that topped them all for sure. But at the same time, that little bit of experience I had, I feel like really helped me to stay calm and not freak out or anything like yeah. that. So House of Blues, you decide to change it up a little, yeah. sing something a little more up-tempo, and you're not carried through to the top yeah. 24. How did that feel? I mean, look, it's never fun to be told no. It's never, to it's never fun to be rejected. Um, but I was confident in what I brought, and I, I think the judges could also see it as well. Um, you know, they, when they were talking to me, it was, it was more like, look, you did a really, really great job. We really loved having you here, but uh, it was just not for you this year. And, like, what can I do about that, you know? It's their call, and I just kind of have to live with it. So yeah. I, I was... I'm confident in the way that I performed and my choice of doing an upbeat song. I think that's a good thing, you know, for them to see. But of course, of course, it sucks to be eliminated. But yeah. you know, but you I gave it all I could. Today. Yeah. 